It's time for the X and Y show with your host, Mr. Roosevelt. He talks about man topics, lady topics, and relationships. He talks about love, sex, and infidelities. He even gives good tips. There is no other show that compares to the X and Y show. Oh yeah. Sit back, take your clothes off, and relax. It's time for the X and Y show, where real relationship issues are talked about and addressed. The only place on the planet that tackles the topics that everyone wants to talk about, but no one is brave enough to address. Nothing escapes X and Y, baby. Now, here's your host, Roosevelt Colbert. <sighs> And greetings, 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 and greetings. Welcome to another segment of the XY Show, and I'm your host, Roosevelt. Welcome to another Friday. It is June the 1st. This year is going on by. The good news is we're closer to Christmas. Now, you guys know Christmas. That's my favorite time of the year. I love winter time. I love just that time of the year when everybody's not acting a damn fool. That's a great time of the year. Now, the bad news is it's the start of hurricane season. And if you live in Miami, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't know about nobody else, but, you know, I'm a little scared because we're already having shit out there that's uh, causing a lot of rain and all that shit. We, we just started. We just started and got damn rain and all that shit already. So I'm a little worried. Uh, I got to get the hell out of this shit because I can't be going through this shit every year. But anyway, it's Friday. So, hope everyone is doing all right. A lot of things happening this week. Uh, you know, um, man, there's a lot of shit going on. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to get in all that shit. <laughs> It'd be here all night. But, I did uh, want to tell you guys that I have been checking in more um, uh, senior citizens' homes, and I think I've narrowed it down to three that I'm going to uh, probably, uh, you know, look more serious in uh, because I think they allow you to hedge, uh, which means I can, uh, you know, make reservations on in today's money. Uh, for something, you know, when I'm, you know, about 30 years later when I'm actually ready to go in the home. So I just want you to know that I'm making progress in doing that. And, uh, you know, so that makes me feel a lot better. Uh, you know, and uh, I'm just thinking about the time, the good times I'm going to be having in old folks' home. With, you know, getting all that old pussy and just having a good old time, you know, so uh Anyway, I'll let you know when I make my final decision on which home um, I'm going to be in. <laughs> oh, without further ado, let's get into tonight's episode. Tonight's episode, I wanted to talk about because, you know, a lot of, I hear a lot of women talking about this. And I just wanted to talk about it because I think a lot of women, to be honest with you, are full of shit. And it really, when I, when I hear them say and talk about this, you know, and, and it's, it's, it's crazy because a lot of them feel basically the same way. And, you know, I, I just felt that it's something that I really had to talk about because it's really, you know, I'm going to talk about, it, but it's really sad um, how women actually feel about this. And, you know, I just think it's fucked up and, um, there's nothing else really I can say about it. I mean, it is what it is. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into tonight's episode. Tonight's episode, does the cost and style of a wedding ring really matter to women? Does the cost and style of a wedding ring really matter to women? I did a survey on Twitter 
And 56% said, well, the choices that I had was extremely, you know, it, it, you know, it doesn't matter. They said, it, you know, um, the, the poll said, how important is a wedding ring to you? And it was a women's only poll. The choices were extremely, could care less. I replace my original. <laughs> I would replace. In other words, if it's fucked up, I would take it back. 56% said it is extremely important. 56%. That's almost 6 out of 10 women said that it is extremely important how their ring looks. Now, I, I must admit, that surprised me. I didn't think it would be that high. I thought it would be like 30, 35, you know, percent, somewhere around that neighborhood. 56% of the women said it's extremely important. I thought, wow, that, is, that, that surprised me. That's fucked up. 33% said they could care less. Okay, okay. That's a good number, but I, I would hope that would have been a little higher. 6% said, I replaced my original. <laughs> now, whoever did that fucked up shit is really fucked up. And 5% said, I would replace. In other words, if it's fucked up, I would take it back and get me another one. <laughs> so, you know, in essence, you really could combine extremely and I replaced my original because if they replaced it, then shit, it's important to them, right? It's extremely important if they replaced it. And I would replace if it's fucked up. So you can kind of, you really can combine those three, really. <laughs> right? I mean, really, you could. So really, it's like, what's that? Uh, six, so that's 67% of the women who really cares about a wedding ring. And those statistics are accurate because a lot of women do care about the, the type of wedding ring that they have. And it really reflects on society how fucked up it is, how fucked up it's become that people are worried about a damn wedding ring instead of worried about the meaning of what a wedding ring means. You know, it's not the looks, it's the, the, the meaning behind the wedding ring. That's what society has forgotten. You know, that's what a lot of women have forgotten. You know, the significance and the meaning of a wedding ring, not, not the look, not the fucking cut of the stone, you know, not platinum, uh, not the, the white gold, you know, all that's bullshit. What's really important is the meaning, you know, why he gave you or why you received the wedding ring. I'm going to just give you some statistics that I got off the site. Uh, Business Insider. And the title was, they did the article back in February 2018. What Americans spend on engagement ring each in each state, right from the lowest to the highest. <laughs> And I was blown away from some of these states what these silly motherfuckers spending on wedding rings. And, you know, it's, 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 it's really mind-boggling. I'm going to just name a few. I'm not going to name all 50. Uh, New Hampshire. The average price that a guy uh, spent on a wedding ring, $4,053. <laughs> They're number 49. All right. Let's give me an idea. Uh, the lowest was Vermont, which is 3,941. <laughs> Shit. And the great state of Mississippi, $4,772. And Mississippi, <laughs> it's been in four, almost 5000 for a damn ring in the state of Mississippi. So you know how important it is. This is crazy. This, this is some damn silly ass shit. Uh, Kentucky, 5,170. 
Rhode Island, 6,109. This shit is crazy. Uh, you know, this, this is Tennessee, 6,116. Louisiana, 6,294. These people out of the... Okay, let me just... No, I, I used to live in Alaska, 6,414. Wow. Oklahoma, 6,584. Idaho, 6,798. I'm going to just go to number one because this shit is crazy. The number one state, I'm going to guess, is probably New York. I didn't look at all the states, but I'm guessing it's probably New York. Florida. $8,022. Now, God damn. Okay, number one. Number one. Iowa, 8,150. South Carolina, 8,599. Uh, damn, where's number one at? Uh, shit. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, oh, number one is California. I should have known that. $10,241 for a fucking ring. That's the number one state where these silly motherfuckers going out and spending uh, three, four, five, six paychecks on a goddamn ring. California is the highest. So with that being said, you know, that shows, you know, if people are spending that much on a ring and it's not the fellas. It's the women who is practically demanding that they receive an uh, awesome wedding ring or shit. Some of them won't marry you. Oh, they'll marry you, but, you know, they want to, honey, I like your ring, but I want to take it back. You know, and, and to be honest with you, if a woman want to take my ring back, um, I be, you know, I, I, I can't be thinking that I don't fucked up. I don't marry the wrong motherfucker, you know, or I'm trying to marry the wrong motherfucker. You know, if she married about a fucking ring. We, we ain't trouble already. We haven't even started the race yet. Is she worried about a fucking ring? How did I get tied up with this shallow motherfucker? That's what I'm thinking. So now that was regular folks. I'm going to give you some of the, what the select. Now, what regular people are spending ain't shit to what the celebrities are spending on their fucking rings. I'm going to just give you a few. Uh, I'm not going to name all of them. But I was uh, surprised at some of these motherfuckers because some of them ain't made a movie in a while. <laughs> shit. Um, Jennifer Aniston. Uh, her wedding ring was estimated one million dollars. Uh, to, <laughs> let me see. Hold on, hold on. Uh, who is this? Uh, shit. Sierra. Her fiance was future. Um, worth one point five million. Hmm. Okay. Melania Trump. You know who she married to. Her ring was only two million dollars. I say only. Uh, you know, I thought it had been a little more with his ass, but um, her ring was two million dollars. Uh, let me let me get to the high ones here. Uh, Nick Cannon and Mariah Carey. Well, when he married her. It was worth two point five million. But I'm gonna get to her down the line. She's remarried, and her new ring, what it's worth. I'm gonna tell you that. Um, Kobe Bryant, his wife's wedding ring, worth four million. Uh, Jennifer Lopez, when she married Mark Anthony, with 4.1 million. Beyonce, when she married Jay Z, 5 million. Uh, and Mariah Carey, when she married James Packer, 10 million. These motherfuckers that done lost their goddamn mind. Well, you know, I'm, I could go on the line to line, but I'm not going to name everyone. And I know a lot of you are thinking, well, they, they have money and blah, blah, blah. It's nothing to them. Yeah, that's bullshit. It doesn't matter how much money they have. And it is their money. They can do whatever they want to do with it. This is my opinion. I think it's just silly as hell 
It's been uh, two million, or three million, or one million, or ten million on a fucking ring. There's so many other things that that money can go, and you spend it on a damn ring. And a lot of you silly motherfuckers out there think, well, if he spends a lot of money on my ring, that means he really loves me. And that don't mean shit. Because a lot of women out there are having these real extravagant rings and getting treated like shit. So it doesn't mean anything how much he spends. That's what I'm saying. You guys are losing the true meaning behind a ring, which is love. Love. So many people use your name in vain. <laughs> you don't want me to get no, no music soul child on y'all ahead. Y'all forgetting the true meaning of a ring. It's love. It's not how a fucking ring looks. Not the cut of a fucking ring. Not the color of a stone. All that's bullshit. And I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be real with you. Because I'm always real with you guys. I'm guilty of that as well. I'm just not as silly as some of these other motherfuckers out here. But I'm guilty of that. Because I know how fucked up society is. I'm not going to let my lady be out in society with a fucked up ring. I don't want my lady to be talked about. I don't want her to feel the pressure of having this fucked up ring or, you know, and coming home and being disgruntled and, you know, being unhappy because of a fucking ring because of the pressure she feels that she's receiving from having this less than mediocre ring. So I want her to feel good about it, you know, because the pressure in society is, is powerful. It really is, you know. So I want her to feel good about the ring. But, you know, that goes to a certain extent. I mean, ladies, ask yourself, would you rather a very good, extravagant, I mean, awesome ring that like fucking, uh, you know, the queen wing ring or some shit. Would you rather a ring like that and the guy treat you like shit? Or would you rather a mediocre ring and a guy treat you like an actual queen? Which would you rather? And I know some of you silly motherfuckers out there are saying you rather the extravagant ring and you get treated like shit. Fuck that. At least I have a ring. You know, if it doesn't work out, I, I can sell it. You know, yeah, there's actually women who think like that. And, you know, women of today, that's why I really don't know if I'll get married because women of today are just fucked up in the head. They're shallow. Um, you know, I mean, they, they, they're just so fucking mixed up. A lot of women put so much stock in a fucking ring. A ring, you know, a ring doesn't mean shit. I mean, it, it's just it's just a, a symbol. You know, it, it means nothing how much you spend a ring. I know people with. A band, a simple gold band, and some of the best marriages I've ever seen in my life, you know. And I know a lot of you women out there saying, well, people are different, you know, I want my ring. You know, I, wait, I, I waited a long time, and I think that I was patient, and I think that I deserve a nice ring. No, you don't deserve a nice ring. You deserve to be loved, you know. You deserve to be respected. You, was, you deserve to be treated like a real woman. You deserve to be a queen. That's what you deserve. You don't deserve a fucking ring. That's, that's bullshit. You want what a ring means. That's what's important. And a lot of you have lost sight of that. Especially this new generation of women. And I'm talking about all ages. 20s. 30s. 40s, 50s, 60s too. You know, it's just silly asses all across the age spectrum. And, you know, it, it, I think that it's, it's, it just shows and proves the, the awesome power of society. You know, 
society pressure, you know, slash peer pressure, you know, being pressurized. Is, hell, I have to get away. What's the first thing when, when people find out you, you're engaged, the first thing they ask, let me see the ring, right? That's the first thing they ask. Where's the ring? Let me see it. You know? And a lot of women want to participate in the show. They want to participate in the almighty show of showing their ring or being married. And that's why so many marriages are fucked up today as it is. That's why so many marriages are ending in divorce because they're not starting off with the right reasons. Which is love. <laughs> it's, it's love. You know, you got some couples out there that don't even wear wedding rings because they can't afford it. Or they couldn't afford it when they got married, so they're like, fuck it, we ain't buying it. <laughs> you know? But they love each other. You know? She treats him well like a, a king. He treats her well like a queen. Perfect couple. They love one another. You know? That's what's important. I don't fucking ring. <laughs> You know, women of the day are so shallow and, uh, you know, it, it, it just is very frustrating. And uh, I, obviously I'm talking about the single women because the women that, that, you know, are married, you know, obviously they, you know, they're taken already. So they, I'm not talking to you. So if you're married, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the women who are out there single and still requiring that their man get them this extravagant ring when they get engaged or when they get married, you know? And some of those women are, you would think that they're mature enough to know better than that shit. And they don't, they don't. Or they do and just don't give a fuck, which, you know, take your choice, you know? And I say me, me included, I'm guilty of that as well. I'm guilty, I, I admit it. I, like I said before, I'm not silly as these some of these other motherfuckers out here spending five and six thousand, ten thousand dollars on a damn ring. You out of your goddamn mind. I'm not spending that kind of money. Shit. But I will get a nice ring for my lady because I don't want her being susceptible to the societal pressure. I don't want her coming home being disgruntled against me. Because she feels that her ring is fucked up. <laughs> you know? That's what happened. Next thing you know, we arguing and shit every day. Oh, what fucking ring? Next thing you know, she asking, can I take it back? Can I replace it? You know? Don't feel bad. I really like it, but I just want another style. You know? I just want something a little more uh, that fits me. Yeah. Well, you gonna pay for it? <laughs> you know. Now, if Jada Pinkett mother wanted, you know, a fifty thousand dollar ring, I would, I would buy Jada Pinkett mother uh, a fifty thousand dollar ring. That woman finer than a motherfucker. <laughs> Woo! I will buy that ring. You know, I just had to find a jewelry store to have a layaway. <laughs> But uh, seriously, I think women have lost their way in this world. You know, a lot of women out there are, you know, they think that because they have this diamond ring, and I guarantee you a lot of those celebrities, and I, I named two, um, uh, Mariah Carey, you know, she's married to Nick, Nick uh, Cannon, you know, and he spent like 2.5 on his ring. You know, they're divorced now, you know. They're divorced. So, you know, it, the, the, the amount of a ring don't mean shit. That's what women has, women have forgotten, you know, up to date. You know, women back in the day knew better. Women back in the day, they just say, look, is the guy, will he work? Yeah, okay. Will he support a family? Yeah, okay. Good enough. Let's get married. 
Well, I can't really afford to buy a ring right now. Don't worry about it. You know, don't worry about it. Yeah, but I really want to get you a ring, and I really like this ring, but I can't afford it right now. Don't worry about it, honey. Don't worry about it. Let's get married. You love me. I love you. We'll get a ring later if you want. You know? Or let's just get a band now. Some couples have gotten that band and they just kept it over the years. Now that band means more to them than any solitaire could ever win. A simple red band, because that's all they could afford at the time. That band means more to them than a solitaire could ever be. Because they understand the true significance behind the ring, what it means. It means love. We're marrying each other because we love one another. That's what a ring is. You know. That's what a ring is. That's what, a, that's, that's what it means. You know. You have to be strong enough to ignore all the societal pressures. You know. That is put forth through all these extravagant marketing drives. Through these diamond companies and shit. And all of these uh, television shows. And. Uh, jewelry companies and friends, you have to be strong enough to avoid that kind of societal pressure. They say, look, no, I don't have a $10,000 ring, but I got a good man. I got a good man. He loves me. He respects me. He treats me like a damn queen. You know, no, this ring ain't worth $10,000. It's worth about 1500 probably. I don't know. But I know one thing. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm in love, you know, true love. That's what that's supposed to mean, you know. So when I hear women about, you know, I want a ring, you know, I've waited a long time, and the least I can do is get a good ring because I've been patient, you know. When I hear that, that's a shallow motherfucker. And if you think that way, then you are that shallow motherfucker. I'm talking to the ladies. Yes, you are. If you put that much weight in the way a ring looks, then you probably don't need to be married in the first place. Because you're not getting married for the right reasons. If you get married for the right reasons, you wouldn't be worrying about a fucking ring. <laughs> That'd be the last thing on your mind. A ring? What the <laughs> I'm worried about the longevity with this guy. I'm worried about the support, how he would support us as a family, how he'd be a man and wear the pants of a family, you know, and raise children who was respectful, you know, to one another and to society. Someone who is a leader and also treats me like a queen. That's what you want. You want a good man. You want a good man. Fuck a good ring. That's bullshit. You know? But like I said, a lot of women out there are going to hear this and they're going to, it's not going to mean shit to them. Maybe one or two out of a hundred, maybe. Maybe I'll reach a couple. You know? But the, the, the majority of them is going to be like, fuck him. Who the fuck you think he is? <laughs> Just because he's cheap, he don't want to buy a ring. Fuck him. That's you know, just not me. People are different, you know. Yeah, you different, all right. And it's not because I'm cheap. Like I told you before, even the people that were rich buying all these ten million dollar rings and for I think that's fucking ridiculous. They out of their goddamn minds too. You know, there's so much more that that money can go towards than a fucking ring. Anyway, you know, it's curious to know if Jennifer Aniston or Beyonce or Mariah Carey and J-Lo, whatever. It's interesting to know if they would have gotten a regular ring, you know, like, you know, a regular ring like $2,000 or some shit like that. I don't know. You know, a regular ring that a working person would buy. I wonder what they take it back. I wonder what they would look at their husbands and be like, you know, are you kidding me? 
And, you know, I don't know any of those women. I don't know any of them. But I must say, I would think that they would look at their husbands like they're crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I, and I, I should maybe give them more to the benefit of the doubt. You know. But, you know, I just don't see J-Lo getting a $2,000 ring and she's saying, Oh, honey, that's nice. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is so beautiful. Thank you, honey. I just don't see it. <laughs> I just don't see Jennifer Anderson saying, Oh, honey, oh, my God. I, oh, this is a beautiful ring. I don't see it. I don't see Beyonce telling Jay-Z, Oh, honey, oh, Oh, I love this ring. Thank you, baby. You know, a $2,000 ring. I just don't see it. I'm sorry. I don't know them personally. I don't. But I just don't see them saying that. That's the power of society. Society is very powerful. It has a lot of influence on the weak-minded. That's right. I said it. Weak-minded motherfuckers. To actually coerce them to go out and spend an extravagant and enormous amount of money on a ring. Here, honey, I spent $10 million on this ring. That means I really love you, right? You know, I mean, this marriage is going to be forever, right? I spent $10 million on this ring. No, it don't mean that. It don't mean shit. No, what means something is what the ring means. You know, the purpose, what it symbolizes. This is our, my, this is my woman, or this is my man. You know, this is my woman. I love her. You know, I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with her. I'm gonna treat her like a queen every day of her life. Every time she get out of the damn bed, I'm gonna treat her. Like a queen. That's what it means. That's what a ring symbolizes. That's what you want. Ladies, trust me. You don't want a good ring and be in a fucked up marriage. You don't want that. You know, in a fucked up marriage, but you got a pretty ring. Really? You, you want that? No, ladies. You want a nice ring, a reasonable ring, and a wonderful ring. That's what you want, you know. That's how you be happy, you know. Fuck our ring, I mean, <laughs> ladies. Don't don't get caught up in the ring. Remember what a ring means. That's what you have to remember. And I'm gonna say it again. If I have a wife or a fiance, whatever, and I give her a ring. And she's saying, you know, it's beautiful and all, but I really would like to let's go somewhere and, and you know, I would like to exchange it, you know, for something that fits me. You know, I'm thinking I, I don't fucked up. And you know what I'm thinking? You know, maybe she's not the one. You know, we haven't even started the race yet. And I'm seeing this bullshit about her that I didn't know. You know. She don't know the true meaning behind this ring. She's worrying about society. She's worrying about the wrong shit already. I don't know. I, I, I done fucked up. How did I let? How did I slip with this shallow motherfucker? How did I slip? That's what I'm thinking. So, ladies, fuck a ring. Fuck society. Don't get caught up in the okie doke. You know, you don't want a good, expensive, you know, beautiful. Well, you want a beautiful ring, but you don't want this, you know, over extravagant ring, and end up in a fucked up marriage. You don't want that. Now, nah. what you want is a reasonable ring, you know, mediocre ring, you know, reasonable. Because there's a lot of things you can do with that money, especially if you're not affluent. You want a reasonable ring and you want a wonderful, great marriage. You want an awesome husband 
who treats you like a queen every day. You know, fuck society and their ideas of what a ring should look like. So when them bitches out there ask you, let me see your ring, you show it to them in pride. You show it to them and be happy and proud of your ring because you know what it really means. And you know how your man treating you at home. And you know that you're in a wonderful and great marriage. So you're not concerned about what society thinks about a fucking ring. Well, I hope you enjoyed tonight's show. The X and Y show. Be weary. Be weary. <laughs> Uh, you can also check out the X and Y show on any avenue that you desire. I'm on TuneIn. I'm on iTunes. I'm on Blueberry. I'm on Google Play. I'm on Stitcher. And I'm on iHeartRadio. So anyone that tickles your fancy, be sure to listen to it and uh, uh, subscribe. And also follow, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. And I really appreciate it. Also, I'm on social media. I'm on Tumblr. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. And I'm on Twitter. Um, be sure to follow me on there. And be uh, in tune with all of the changes that are coming with the X and Y show. Now, you can find my social media and my platforms. Everything on my website, which is www.thexyshow.com. That's www.thexyshow.com. You find everything there. Also, I have an X and Y store where you can buy mugs, you can buy phone covers for the iPhone uh, or an Android, and you can buy, uh, did I say cups? Yeah, cups, mugs for coffee. You can buy t shirts. So be sure to go in there and check it out. Take a picture of a t shirt, and I will definitely post it on, on my IG account. Um, there's also a contact form on the website. Be sure to say hello to me or give constructive criticisms or say hello or anything um, topic that you would like to hear, whatever. Just say hello to me or stop by and say what's up. Everything's there. And um, I just want you to know that I really appreciate you all for taking out time of your busy day to listen to me. And it's not important that you agree to me. But what is important is that you listen. <laughs> With that being said, I'll say one thing. You cannot have love without X and Y. See you next week, or actually the week after. <laughs> Later. You've been listening to The X and Y Show with your host, Roosevelt Colbert, the place where real relationship issues are talked about and addressed. Join us next time. You can now put your clothes back on or not. Uh.